Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching. All right, today we are back with another video on the indestructible sledgehammer. So we've done a couple videos on this now. Most recently, I think it was a couple weeks ago, we shot it with the 50 BMG. If I manage to hit this thing, I think it's probably gonna knock the metal part right off the handle, but we'll see. Such a small target. I think it's gone now. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Let's see if we hit. We did. Wow. You guys, it barely dented that thing. Check that out. I mean, you can see that it, it clearly smoked it and put a perfect little dent in there, but that didn't dent it as bad as a couple of these did. And not only was I surprised by how minimal the damage was to the sledgehammer, but miraculously I recovered the majority, if not all, of that 50 caliber bullet, which after hitting something like a steel sledgehammer is pretty incredible. I would love to recover some of that bullet or some pieces or whatever's left. I highly doubt I'm gonna be able to, but what's this right here? That's hot, that is extremely hot. That is it, you guys. What in the world is that? I'm confused. What is this? Is that our bullet? This thing is extremely hot, so I know that this is either the bullet, which is absolutely incredible if that thing stayed intact like that, but it doesn't look like it's big enough to be a 50 unless it's like a boat tail and the back end of that bullet is smaller than 50 caliber because that's clearly it i mean look at the tip of that bullet that little bulge right there and then look at the mark on our sledgehammer it's so clearly a perfect match and that thing fits right on that sledgehammer where it impacted it's just now cooling down enough to where i can hold it without burning my hand that is freaking amazing. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's definitely a good one and it did pretty well. So I thought we would take another crack at it and continue our series on the indestructible sledgehammer because it's actually becoming indestructible, which is something I didn't anticipate when I started this whole thing. So in the comments to the last video, which is why y'all are so important to the channel, a lot of people gave me the idea to try this caliber the 22-250. So the 22-250 is by far the fastest caliber that I own with velocities of 3,500 all the way up to over 4,000 feet per second. And if you look it up, it's listed as the second fastest production cartridge in the world behind only the 220 Swift, which is going like 45, 4,600 feet per second. And if you know anything about ballistics, you know that it's actually velocity that's most effective at getting through stuff like steel, body armor, etc. So although this is just a 22 caliber bullet and the 50 BMG is 100 times more powerful, the 22250 might actually do more damage because it's going so much faster. I don't know, we're gonna find out, but here's our sledgehammer. Uh, most of you guys have probably seen this in the other videos. That's actually where our 50 cal hit it right there, and you can see where it literally blew the finish off, and it's starting to rust right there now. And then on the other side, we've got some of our other bullet impacts. The eight millimeter Mauser all the way on the left there is probably the biggest dent that we've got so far. We got the 7.62 by 54R down there towards the bottom. And you can see that a lot of those actually left bigger dents than the 50 BMG did. But someone in the comments pointed this out and I agree, although it didn't leave a huge dent, it actually reshaped the entire sledgehammer and completely like bowed it out around where that bullet impacted. So although it ain't the biggest dent, it's still probably the most impressive because it literally reshaped a hardened steel sledgehammer, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. But can the 22250, my fastest bullet, do more damage than even a 50 BMG? Let's find out. All right, so we got a couple different bullets we're gonna shoot at this thing. First up, we have the Hornady Varmint Express. This is a wicked looking round, but it's a VMAX bullet, which I believe means it has a plastic tip on the end of it. So that could affect what it does to our sledgehammer. I'm not really sure, but the velocity on this one is 3,750 feet per second, which is <laughs> ridiculous. That's like a thousand feet per second faster than a lot of the 223s that I shoot just to put that into perspective for you guys. And the rifle that we're using is the Ruger M77 22-250. I'm actually gonna kinda hide behind this tree a little bit just because we're shooting a steel sledgehammer and I don't really want anything coming back at me, so. We should be good, let's see what it does. Looks like we hit it. Oh, 
All right, y'all, moment of truth. Let's go ahead and flip this thing over. <laughs> oh my gosh, that might be, actually that's definitely the biggest dent that we've got so far. You can see it right next to the 50. It's kind of hard to see the 50 because it's rusted over, but that's night and day. The 22 250 did so much more damage than the 50 BMG and definitely left a much bigger dent. That is crazy, it really is true. Velocity is everything when it comes to penetrating stuff like this. Now obviously, like I said, the 50 BMG completely deformed the entire sledgehammer and obviously just packed so much more energy, but when it comes to just denting the steel and you know penetrating through it, not even close. The 22 250 is the deepest dent that we've got so far. We got one more bullet to try. All right, I had to move my camera over because the sun is screwing me up again, but next up, we have a Winchester bullet. So you can see that this is a soft point, which again, probably isn't ideal for getting through something like this, uh, but these are loaded extremely hot. 3,950 feet per second is the velocity on these, literally 4,000 feet per second. So a couple hundred feet faster than the Hornady that we just shot, but it's a soft point. So I guess we'll see if this one does any more damage. Well, I think we got it. <laughs> All right, it was going faster, but it's a soft point as well. So I don't really know. Let's see what it did. Go ahead and flip it over. Oh, way deeper. Holy crap. So obviously the one we just shot's on the left. The first one's on the right. That one on the left is much deeper than the one on the right. I really hope y'all can see that. I mean, that's, I don't know, a quarter inch, at least maybe a half inch into that sledgehammer. And it hit it kind of right there on the corner as well, which I imagine would be a really hard spot. And it went much deeper than the first one did. That is freaking crazy. Again, I hope you guys can see that by far the most damage that we've done to this sledgehammer so far. So again, just reiterating that velocity is clearly your best friend when you're trying to get through stuff like this. And these are by far the best results that we've had so far shooting this thing. <laughs> While it is impressive and it does give me some hope for the future, it kind of confirms in a way that this might actually be an indestructible sledgehammer, at least when it comes to bullets. It's literally one of the hardest things on earth to try and shoot through and it's just a hardened giant block of steel but i do have a lot of stuff i want to try on this we actually have some really cool 50 cal on the way so we're going to shoot it some more and just see which round ends up coming out on top but for right now the 22 250 is by far in first place all right everybody there you have it the indestructible sledgehammer wins again and for now it remains indestructible i do want to get a 220 swift at some point i'll try to make that happen i don't know how common they are or how available they are um, but obviously we have to get the world's fastest production bullet and see what it does to our sledgehammer but in the meantime i have some really cool 50 cal on the way that should do quite a bit more damage than the other one did and we'll see what it's gonna take to eventually get through this thing. But for now, it remains an indestructible sledgehammer. And I gotta say, this has to be one of the funnest series that I've ever started on this channel because it literally shows us side by side what happens when different calibers and different bullets hit something like a hardened steel sledgehammer. And as I said earlier, this has to be one of the hardest things on earth to try and shoot through and I just love watching it happen. So can't wait to see what happens next time. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.